Solve this equation. Square root of x plus 14, then plus square root of x plus 2 equals 6. I'm going to show you two methods to solve this equation. The first method is, usually if we see many square roots in an equation, what should we do? Very good. We have to substitute. Substitution is always the best way for us to deal with the square roots. So, how should we substitute them? We can substitute, we can let. Square root of x plus 14 is a. And this guy, square root of x plus 2. is b. Of course, this equation becomes an equation about a and b. So a plus b is 6. Square root, square root. We all hate square roots. So now, we can square the both sides on these two equations. So a squared is x plus 14. And b squared is x plus 2. So now, these two equations How should we get another relationship between a and b? Look, x here also x. So now we should let the first equation subtract the second one. So if the first one subtracts the second one, n, what can we get? a squared minus b squared is x plus 14 minus x then minus 2. Positive x, negative x, they can be cancelled. And 14 minus 2 is 12. Of course, there is also the other relationship between a and b. That is, the sum of them is 6. So firstly, if we can get the value of a or b, we can find out the solutions. Of course, we can find out the value of x. So we shall start from the first equation. What should we use? A formula, and it is very famous. A famous identity. A squared minus b squared is the product of a plus b and a minus b. That means this is 12. But we know that the sum of a and b is 6. So a plus b is 6. a plus b is 6, and 6 times a minus b is 12. That means a minus b is equal to 12 divided by 6, it is 2. So the value of a minus b is 2. So now we can get a new system of equations. The sum of them is 6. And the subtraction of them is 2. This is the third equation, and this is the fourth equation. Now, try adding them together. 3 plus 4. So here we get a plus b plus a minus b is 6 plus 2 is 8. So we all can see that positive, negative, they can be cancelled. So cancel them. Cancel, cancel. a plus a is 2a. 2a is 8, and we can solve for the value of a directly. Now, a is 4. 
since 2a is 8. That means square root of x plus 14 is 4. And square root of both sides, x plus 14 is 4 squared is 16. So, now, substitute this result into this equation. Square root of x plus 14 is 4. So square root of both sides, x plus 14 is 4 squared is 16. So x plus 14 is 16. So x is 2. Now stop. I'm going to show you the other wonderful way. What should we do in our second method? Firstly, we have to construct another term. If we can get this term, then the value of x can be solved very easily. This term is the brother term of the left hand side. It is square root of x plus 14 and then minus square root of x plus 2. This term is 6, but we don't know the value of its brother term, so we can substitute. We can suppose it is equal to t. So now we want to solve for the value of x. What should we do? Are there any relationships between these two left hand sides? Of course there are. If we get the product of them, and we can also use the famous identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This squared is x plus 14 minus this squared is x plus 4 with bracket and if we remove this bracket it is minus x then minus 2. It is 6t. So you can see that this x is positive, and this x is negative. Positive, negative, they can be cancelled. So here, 6 times t is just 14 minus 2, 12. And what's the value of t? Very good. t is 2, but we have to solve for the value of x. Then, what should we do? We can add these two terms, these two equations, together. The fourth equation plus the fifth equation, negative square root of x plus 2, positive this, they can be cancelled. So 2 times of square root of x plus 14 is t plus 6. And t plus 6 is 2 plus 6 is 8. And we can also divide both sides by 2, and we can get this equation. And solve it. x is equal to 2. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.